Now he's going up against Krim and TP. 22 seconds left on the clock. You can see the way that the complexity players have set up. They've split up around the outside of that bomb site. Scuppy turns the corner and runs straight into an informed TP. 2 and 0 oh from him. Continuing off from that second side of domination where he just lit up. TP dropped 19 on that second side of Dom. Went so big. And here he continues to show off his god skill 2-0 with the plant. A three-point streak heading on to the defensive side as Optic's turn now on the attack. We got Clayster pulling Ooh. out a snipe. Nade shot. What is he going to decide to do? Last time he tried to flank, did not work out. It looks like they're going for a more standard B push here with the bomb rotating in the hands of Clay. And you see the Twitter Scott poll on your screen as well. Who's going to win this series? Complexly giving some pushback. Make sure you guys are bearing oh, at home. Oh. oh my goodness gracious me. Krim and TP shutting it down. Complexity wow. fans, Optic Gaming is being more loud on Twitter, but right now Complexity louder in this game. Three down, it's all up to Clay. Clay step. One V4 bombed down in a horrible position as well. Complexity are all around it, so he has to encounter that as well. And Karma, he's going to let Clay step just, you know, run straight into him and pick up that kill. A bit of body shooting as well towards the end of that round, but Optic zero to the two rounds down now they need to win this next round this next round is crucial for them to try and win this such a story nice patience there by all of complexity they had to be locked down the bomb was down clayster had to make a move and that is just a such a difficult situation clayster's going to switch over to the lmg and that can spell trouble if we see complexity trying to go to b and that looks like that is the attack plan now as tp makes the push he's going to switch out to the remington and this is where it could get dangerous for og haven't seen clayster much success with the lmg so far hopefully new map may have some new luck with that but tp still hasn't gone down 3-0 and as well crimp 2-0 and so complexity they are ready and waiting for this optic gaming nate shot squad. pulling out a sniper as well on this map so we'll see does he try and rotate and get some snipes from behind a little bit later smoke is down at b that is a clear sign that the bomb wants to go that same direction we see early shots going through no one dying yet nate shot alive on that right side as well not moving at all just waiting for the push scumpy getting tagged up by some grenades and will he be able to finish this yes he does there is first blood 34 seconds left to plant that was nicely done by scump he knows there's a second play there he's gonna see him as well call that out to his teammates Obviously, that player actually using Ancon. Clay's is just going to go for the wall bank, and this is that LMG strat, which can be so strong. But just as he has to reload, the complexity player peeks around the outside. It's TP. He's cleaned up. Oh, my God. That complexity just so efficient in the way that Look they peek. Clay's by himself. I expected Krim to die there. There were two arrows coming oh his direction. God. He dealt with it. Here's the final kill. Krim is going to get three that round. And here you can see the last one one more time as he takes out Clayster. Just hit. Let's go from Anx. That's exactly what he's trying to get his team pumped up. Krim, fantastic 5-0. And, oh. and this is, this basically now, Pocket, is the situation where if you're in the Optic Gaming booth, you need to say, all right, Krim hasn't died, right. neither has TP. We need to pick those kills up, whether it's a snipe off the bat or, or just a, a kill at the bomb site. It doesn't matter which one it is, but they need to shut them down because momentum is a scary thing, Pucket, and it looks like the momentum may start to make it impossible for an optic comeback. Two players already watching B. There's going to be Scumpy setting up here on the far right side. Meanwhile, down low, you got the Clayster once again just shooting through the wall this time, trying to go for that trophy system. Once he takes that out, the grenades can come flying in. But speaking of grenades, Teepee's going to use his against Scumpy already. First blood in favor of Cole once again. Clayster using sit rep. That's obviously the perk which allows you to uh, see those trophy systems from distance. Something that we've seen used more and more now in Search and Destroy. Because you see a lot of players tend to lie behind those trophy systems. So it kind of gives you a, a bit of a portable UAV. I'm not entirely sure why Embers was pushing so far up there. But now it's going to be down to Clayster once again, one versus four situation. Ace is going to come in from the side, has him heavily tagged, has him managed to pick up the kill. Clayster running for his life, being chased by two complexity players. He has his pistol out, needs to go big, not going to happen. Ace is going to clean it up. 4-0 complexity. They are making a huge statement here, Pocket, in game number five. What a show. TP 5-0 with two plants. Crimp 6, also perfect 6-0.
On the other side, Nadeshot and Embos rolling donuts right now. They're still looking for their first kill. Can they get it? They're on the defensive side. Nadeshot pulling out that snipe once again. Cole has not pushed A. They've gone B every go. single time until this round. Nadeshot's going to have his work cut out for him. We've seen one play across at least. And he has a sniper rifle out. This is a bit of a quick step on TP. That's a huge kill. TP first of the team. And can he find Bob, the second Bob player? Bob is going down right now. The second, in fact, all of Complexity so close to him. Just gonna hard scope that, that jaw. Desperate, in fact, TP, TP was the play with the bomb. Right. Complexity are yet to pick that up, so they can't plant that. And I think Nature knows about that because he is just staring at that corpse. Not willing to move at all, but Complexity are now going to start the push up towards Nature. Clayston needs to help his teammate out here. He can't afford to let Nature die, and he oh, has no. done. So Nate shot down, it's up to Scump and Clay here, and it looks like Embo's now also pushing it. That bomb now finally going down, as Embo's will be a little bit late there with the Septex, gonna find action, and just like oh, that, Crim Cole six. is gonna pick off everyone. Crimbot, perfect at 9-0, oh, he is Crim gonna six. get the ace this round. Crim 10-0 in five rounds. Oh my god, he just hit a three-piece in Search and Destroy, essentially. Fantastic accuracy coming from him, but just want to throw this out there. Full sale. Optic Gaming went 5-0 up in Search and Destroy. A comeback from right. Complexity. Could we see that turn on its heads now? Optic, no choice in this sixth round. They need to pick it up because Complexity looks so dominant. And this could be Optic going down as that loses bracket. I can't believe Krim6 just pulled off the ace after Nate Shot got that bomb down. Krim had the nasty two pieces. We were watching Clayster. Let's see what Krim is doing off the break. Optic actually pushing A. Krim's going to be on the opposite side of the map. Scumpy in position first. Nate Shot going to push this bomb in. Clayster trying to cover here with Embos. Nate Shot should have that plan done any second. Clayster's going to get the first kill. Nicely done from Optic Gaming. Bomb down as well. Forces Complexity's hand now. But there is one Complexity player going for the flank. Yeah, that's Krim. Krim. Just going to be being very sneaky. Time ticking, 30 seconds. Complexity need to make the move. Clayster with that sight. He's got it lined up. Knows there's a player there. The oh, no. stun is going to wreck him, though. Nate Shot trying to answer back. He's giving up his position. Scumpy, can he get some eyes on it? It looks like Embos was taken down on the back as Krim is pushing forward. Krim oh, that's now six with zero. the squad. And that is a 6-0 finish for Complexity. They have defeated Optic Gaming guaranteeing themselves $200,000 and a spot in the Grand Finals. Has there ever been a statement quite like that, Puckett? That was unreal. A close series back and forth all the way to the fifth map. And then Cole basically say, hey, we are going to be the world champions this year. 6-0 and oh in map number five. In Porter. Wow. Krim, <laughs> six. I owe this man oh, an apology. I did not catch any of those kills. He went absolutely off a perfect game for the Krim bot. What a series. It went down to the wire, but when the pressure was on, complexity going huge. The world champ, Karma, giving the high fives to TP and Aix. The duo will head to another finals. That is now 11 tournaments in a row. Here is some of the action from that final game. TP there on your screens. He had a fantastic start, but it was all about oh, this there's man. there's that Krim right there with Krim the nasty Zix. double. Just so, so nasty. Karma as well, killing Clayster in a very, very important round. And Krim just, how do you finish 11 0 with try? I have absolutely no idea. He was just picking up kills left, right, and center. That was his, his sixth kill. As you just, just don't whew. lose, you don't lose gunfights, but, man. But that three piece as well that he hit, it's just unbelievable. And there you see the reaction from Aches and the boys. They have locked it up. $200,000 guaranteed in the Woo! bank. They'll be fighting for the $400,000 grand prize and the title of world champions here at the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. What a show from Complexity. Unbelievable. And believe me, Puckett, there is no team that deserves that grand final spot more than Complexity. They have just worked so hard over the last year to just get themselves into, as you said, every single grand final since last year's Call of Duty World Championship. That is an unbelievable right. stat. They find themselves there now. Can they finish it up later on today? 
Ooh. Wow, it's amazing. Complexity moves on. Optics not out. They got to fight through the lower yes. bracket. But right now, down on the floor, we have a very happy Complexity with Justine. All right, guys, congratulations. I mean, this went to five games. I mean, how are you feeling right now? I'm disappointed it went to five games. That search round, we were up 3-1. They took a free round, or they got like a pity round, basically. It was upsetting. Uh, it kind of killed our momentum going into that blitz, but we're the best team here. We clutch up when it matters. 6-0, final map. We're going to win this. I mean, you did. You mean you pretty much crushed it that last match. Yeah, definitely. Um, they they tried to get aggressive on us the first couple rounds, and me and Krim just shut it down. Our ARs were too strong for him. I went seven and one. He went like ten and zero or something. Perfect game for Ian. So shout out to him. They just couldn't stop us. It was pretty intense. And I mean, for all of us watching out here, I mean, it was just we could feel the intensity. We could see you guys yelling at each other. I mean, how does that affect your gameplay? I mean, you guys are yelling back and forth. We were just feeding off the energy. Uh, as soon as we get a momentum going, they, no one can stop us, really. We've been preparing so much this last year. We've had a lot of success, but this is the tournament that matters the most. We're showing it here, right here. All right, guys, Championship Sunday. We are here. Good luck. Back to you guys up at the booth. Thank you, Justin. Congratulations to Complexity one more time. They are not letting their fans down, coming into this one as the clear favorite, and they perform when they need it most. They're in the grand finals, and now they get to sit back, relax, and see who they'll be facing off against. Here's a look at our upper bracket. Yeah, you can see the way both those te two teams fought their way through. Optic Gaming with some wins against Trident T1 Dutters, the surprise team. No one expected them to be that far in the bracket. They also took down US champion Strictly Business and M I'm sorry, and uh, Team Caliber, an incredible round number one game. So op that's Optic's path, but complexity. They found themselves in that championship match later on today, just taking down Optic Gaming, shutting down FaZe, Xfinity, and as well as that, the EU champions, TCM Gaming. That's right, and while we are watching the action here in the upper bracket, the lower bracket has been going on. We started with round four today, Envy eliminating the Australians, and Strictly Business taking down FaZe. So what that means game. that Envy and Strictly Business are playing right now, round number five over on our Bravo broadcast. That winner will move on to play Optic Gaming for that final spot in that grand final. Envy Strictly Business. What a game that is going to be. SB US Champions going up against Envious, who have just been fighting their way through that right. loser's bracket. They have had a very, very tough time. They've been playing so many more games. And you have to question that they have played a lot more matches. Is that going to be good or is that potentially going to be a bad thing? You know, the, both teams are warmed up. They had to, uh, to go up against serious challengers in their first round of the day. I think this is going to be a slugfest going all the way. Benson, it is going to be a phenomenal matchup. Strictly Business and Envy over on our Bravo broadcast. Let's check out what's going on over to there. It's past the five. All right, well, let's see if.